Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer brought to you from the churches of St John's and St Andrew's in the parish of Bromsgrove. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. We pause to reflect on the gift of this new day, for the things we're called to do and the people we are called to be. Let's be still for a moment. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We say together Psalm 23, pausing briefly at the end of each verse. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading for today comes from Zechariah 8. The Lord says, I shall save you and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid. I wonder what your first response is when you go through tough times. Do you rely on your own strength or perhaps on the strength of others? And sometimes that is important. But here God says there are moments when I will rescue you. I will literally save you and in those darkest moments because they do tend to be dark moments when we turn to God for help he says you will be seen as a blessing people won't see you as being cursed or going through a bad time you will have a new name you will be a blessing to others so therefore do not be afraid so today in your struggles turn to the God who will rescue you and who will transform you to be a blessing. Let's be still.
We now turn to prayer. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. A prayer for Ukraine. God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war or peace, for wisdom, discernment and compassion to guide their decisions. And above all, we pray for all your precious children at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Amen. In the silence, let's offer to God the burdens we bear, the concerns we carry, the needs of our world and the people close to our hearts. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>